Okay, for this session we're going to have a look at the uh, options on the Goldmine calendar, most of which are available from the uh, right-click menu uh, in the calendar area. So I'm looking at my uh, standard Goldmine calendar here. If I right-click, I have a, a few options. Um, I can schedule activities very quickly and easily from here. Just right-click and select the activity. And it actually puts the time, date and the duration of uh, 30 minutes, or depending on how uh, your increments are set in your calendar. Um, to be quite honest, I find it quite easy to just select um, a particular area of your calendar when you let go of the uh, mouse, puts the time, date and duration, uh, assumes it's an appointment, but you can change this to a different activity type. Um, okay, another option uh, in here is uh, go to today's date or go to a particular date. Um, the today's date is the same as using the today button at the top of the uh, calendar area. Um, today date, or go to date I should say, allows you to quickly navigate to a date uh, on your calendar through the navigation buttons here. Also you can use the standard goldmine shortcuts such as uh, 3M in here. If I tab down you can see it advances that day by three months. If I chose OK it would navigate straight to that current date and um, users allows you to change the users of the calendar activities this activities is quite a useful option you can uh, uh, select from a, a series of tick boxes of what you would like to appear on your calendar in this example I've got uh, a number of the um, scheduled activities chosen and also it looks as though I've got all of the completed ones showing here and you can see in the background there are some completed ones. Those are very obvious by the strike through or the line going through the text here. Also available in here are some other options. Uh, sync contact. If I choose this option, whenever I select an activity in the calendar, it will actually navigate in the background. I'll move this uh, view up a little bit moves in the background, goes straight and navigates to the contact record. You can see the contact tab currently shows uh, the record that I've chosen. And if I choose this other one, at the top here, uh, it changes to that particular record. So that's uh, controlled by the option to sync contact window. Show working days uh, would actually uh, only show the ones that are set in the settings here. So in my example here, uh, Saturday and Sunday actually uh, uh, actually get hidden um, and those uh, working days are available through the um, calendar options at the bottom here um, of this window let me uh, just move this down again so you can uh, see this right click options and calendar options these are also available through your uh, tools options menu and it opens up the calendar tab and you can set your working days, uh, working hours uh, here in this uh, area. You can also change the time increments from five minutes up to uh, the one hour uh, slots so that it uh, expands these cells. The auto rollover is probably a um, majority of times I avoid this. Um, this uh, changes the scheduled due date of an activity that you've missed. Um, some people use these, but uh, I find it causes more issues than it does anything else. Um, but uh, could be quite useful for certain areas. Uh, another area is the uh, More Options button on here, which allows you to change what is viewed against the activities in the background. You can uh, change what shows on a pending activity. So in, in my example here, this is showing the company name and the reference and for completed activities it shows the contact name in the reference and we can just see that in the background against the record here. So that's a quick visit to the calendar options available from the right click menu in the calendar area uh, which allows some quick uh, uh, option changes to your view in the Goldmine calendar. For more information about Goldmine or Wizard Systems please visit our website at www.wizard-systems.com. Thank you very much.